Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video for you guys that I thought would be super helpful. I'm gonna be sharing with you three of the biggest mistakes that can lead to stunning hair growth or even your hair having a major setback or worst case scenario, no growth at all. I've done these type, type of videos on my channel before where I went through like mistakes that could be made that could lead to hair growth not really being there but those are like longer longer videos i wanted to do one that was like straight to the point and pretty much contained three things top things that i learned last year <laughs> because as you guys know last year i had a major setback with my hair but definitely a a moment where i wasn't really feeling my hair and it was just like probably like one of the worst stages of my natural hair journey if you guys want to see all about that you can go back to this playlist right here where i have all of those videos kind of going over the overview of what happened but before we get into the video i wanted to quickly say that this video is sponsored by dossier dossier is the ultimate destination for luxury perfumes and their perfumes are now available at walmart making it a lot easier for you guys to actually Actually get these perfumes and of course convenient and so dossier is a brand that believes that luxury doesn't have to come at a large price tag so what they do is they offer high quality luxury perfumes inspired by the most iconic fragrances in the world such as Chanel Dior Versace those type of brands I also know that 90% of retail price of luxury fragrances comes from the brand taxes advertising packaging and those sorts of things so at dossier they value the scent itself rather than all of those other things and this month I'm actually trying out two scents from this brand and I'm excited to share them with you so the first one is going to be the Amory vanilla fragrance which is a light smell inspired by YSL and I'll have the exact name for this fragrance up here but yes absolutely loving this one this is my favorite one that they've sent me so far and the second scent is a fruity jasmine fragrance inspired by Dior both are perfect for any occasion I really like the YSL for an everyday perfume so if you're looking for exceptional high quality fragrances that won't break the bank visit Walmart today and grab a bottle of dossier perfume and you will not be disappointed and let's go ahead and get right into the video so, mistake number one that I wanted to put in this video and like I said this is going to be just like my mistakes that I felt or like the top mistakes and honestly these mistakes led to my hair not not being the healthiest let's say in about six months this was something that took effect so number one thing that I wanted to put in this video is ponytails now we all love ponytails we all know that ponytails are extremely convenient and honestly your hair sometimes you just don't want it in your face you want it up but there is stipulations to ponytails so that they're not damaging to your hair. One being not wearing super, super tight ponytails that are gonna create a lot of tension on your scalp and ultimately just lead to your hair either having a lot of breakage or your hair thinning out. I personally experienced with my ponytail wearing is that my hair was starting to feel a little bit thin back before i was natural i went all the way where my edges started to thin and i have a video on that but during this little six month time period i just was wearing a lot of ponytails and i noticed that my hair was leading to thinning so if you are someone who is a ponytail wearer you want to do things like wear looser ponytails or use hair ties that are like really gentle on your hair so like silk hair ties i love 100 silk hair ties um and scrunchies so you can use those on your hair things like that is going to be a lot more less damaging than if you were to do like those super sleek tight ponytails i feel like that you can do those every now and then but i was doing them way too often and it definitely led to my hair feeling not as healthy and honestly like i said leading more to the thinner side so now i try to stay away from those super sleek tight ponytails they look really good but you don't want to do those too much of course i do them sometimes but i definitely don't do them all the time okay so mistake number two is detangling your hair the wrong way and i have mentioned this on my channel before um 
I feel like that with detangling, I didn't really put a huge focus on that because um, I would just detangle my hair with a tangle teaser and that's one of my favorite brushes to use. I have experimented with different brushes just trying to figure out if I wanted to change up my routine. And I found that using the wrong brush can really counteract everything that you do to your hair <laughs> because it can pull it out. So having the right detangling tools is so important. It can result in a lot of hair fallout, which in turn can of course stunt your hair growth because your hair is getting pulled out by the wrong detangling methods. So I wanted to put detangling on this list because I, like I mentioned, had experience with that where I was experimenting with different detangling tools. And I find that the best detangling tool is just to use a tangle teaser because it just works really good and it doesn't pull out a lot of your hair and I just feel like that is one of the best brushes that I personally like to use. Yeah, detangling your hair the proper way is really going to help with helping your hair to actually retain your hair growth because you're not pulling it out. Okay, so the last mistake that I wanted to mention in this video, first things first is being super lazy with your hair or not really taking care of your hair in a way to where it can actually be nurtured to actually grow. And being inconsistent with your hair can really, really set your hair back. And also it can make your hair feel like that it's not thriving when really you're just not putting a lot of time into it. And like I said, in 2022, I had a lot of experience with this because when your hair, if you're not putting a lot of time into your hair, your hair doesn't feel as vibrant and you feel like that something is wrong with your hair when really you're just not putting as much effort into your routine. There's a lot of times where I was wanting to just throw my hair up into buns and ponytails and just really not focus on my hair because I really wasn't as focused on my hair um, at that time. And I feel like that this felt made my hair feel lackluster and I was not, it was not as vibrant and thriving as, as it was in prior years. And I thought that, oh my God, my hair just needs a big change. It's several months from that time, I realized that I just wasn't putting a lot of time into my hair. So my hair wasn't feeling as um, amazing as it felt prior years because those prior years I was always putting a lot of time into my hair. I feel like that oftentimes not using the right products, having an improper routine, not maintaining your hair, uh, those things can lead to your hair not being as vibrant, having stunted hair growth, and ultimately not growing. It's not really a mistake, it's more of you, sometimes we just don't feel like doing with our hair, but you don't want to make that a habit. An honorable mention goes to da 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 stress. <laughs> stress can really be a huge, huge factor in the way that your hair feels and the way that it grows. Um, I know that it's something that kind of gets swept underneath the rug. A lot of people don't mention it in their hair care videos, but when you're super stressed, your body in general cannot thrive the way that it could if you were taking better care of your mental health. So when it comes to stress in general, it can play a huge role in setting back your hair. Stress can sometimes lead to hair loss. This is not really a mistake, that's why it's an honorable mention, but it is something to think about if you have a lot of stress and things like that, just finding ways to calm yourself down, you know, getting through those rough patches in, you know, your, in your life where it's just a lot of stress and getting back to taking care of yourself, pouring into self-care really does make a difference in your life, but also your hair care routine and the way that your hair looks and the way that it grows, things like that. So uh, there you have it. Those are the three mistakes that I've made in the past, last year, 2022, and mistakes that I commonly see are a huge factor in stopping hair growth in general. Hopefully by sharing these tips with you guys and mistakes with you guys that you are helped on your journey and as well as it helps you to maintain overall healthy hair. And if you guys have made any mistakes that you want to put down in the comment section, then let me know down below or anything that you wanna to add to this video will be very helpful for anyone who wants to know a little bit more on mistakes. And like I said, I do have a video where I went over a ton of more mistakes. These are just my top ones that I noticed really had effect, effect on my hair within a six month period. Whereas the mistakes that I mentioned in this video right here are more so like over a course of like a couple years or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.